Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a promo bar for your Divi website in two minutes or less. So super quick, super easy to do. We actually have a promo bar generator that allows you to easily customize the, the look uh, and the colors as well as the text uh, very easily. Uh, and then the generator will generate that code for you. And so uh, a little bit of background about this tutorial, it was actually published on October 11th, 2016 originally. And uh, since then, our tutorial and the generator has been used tens of thousands of times over the last three and a half years. And uh, it actually prompted our Divi Bars plugin. So Divi Bars is the premium plugin version of this tutorial and uh, promo bar generator. And so the, the plugin allows you to create promo bars using the Divi Builder, has a lot more features, uh, a lot of templates that are built in. And so you can check that out if you're interested. But this tutorial and this promo bar generator is 100% free. So you can use it as long as you like, as many times as you like, and it's always gonna remain free. And so uh, it's been used a lot, especially over the last few weeks. So we are amidst the COVID-19 global pandemic. And so you've probably seen a lot of websites out there that have their COVID-19 notices at the top that's uh, letting their customers and website visitors know kind of what's changing with their business. Maybe they're having uh, different hours or maybe they're doing delivery or takeout only if they're a restaurant. And so um, a lot of our customers have been using the promo bar generator as well as Divi bars and Divi overlays in order to create these notices. And so we've seen the promo bar generator being used more than ever. And so uh, because of that, we wanted to do an update. So we launched this in, in 2016, as I mentioned, and we haven't done any updates since then. It's continued to work really well for Divi. However, there's a couple of things that we're missing. And so we wanted to update it for 2020. So for example, it now works with headers that are built with Divi 4.0. So if you're using a Divi 4.0 uh, created header, then um, the promo bar generator now works with that. Uh, and then it also works with extra too. So super excited about that. And then uh, the last, or I should say the third update that we did for 2020 was we made the promo bar generator have a really cool, sleek uh, color picker. So it makes customizing your promo bar even easier. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, now this is the, the tutorial and what it looks like here. We've updated it again for uh, 2020. And so um, let me really quickly show you, uh, in case you're not familiar with what a promo bar is, uh, the top of our website, divilife.com, has a promo bar. This is built using Divi bars, um, not the promo bar generator, but same type of concept. Also, the Elegant Themes website has the uh, promo bar that you see here at the top. And actually, a uh, little fun fact, the Elegant Themes website, when Divi 3.0 was released with the Visual Builder, they added a promo bar, and that's what prompted the tutorial, which then prompted the Divi Bars plugin, and so we, we definitely owe it to them. And of course, here are more examples of promo bars. These are all the templates that come with Divi Bars uh, to give you an idea. So uh, very cool, and then I wanted to show you here, this is the promo bar generator that we're, I'm gonna show you how to use right now. This is using um, with the Divi 4.0 header. So this is a Divi 4.0 header here, the, the new promo bar on top here. And so we've added that compatibility in the new version so that they work together. And so this is one of the headers that we gave away for Black Friday as a bonus and will be on sale as a product soon. And then here is the promo bar working with extra. So very, very slick. Now, this is what we're going to be creating right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that. And so you can see it without the promo bar, we're gonna add that here. Now, uh, this is a Divi layout and it's a bistro. So in this hypothetical scenario, we're gonna create a COVID-19 notice. And so we want it to match the brand, the colors. And so we're gonna be able to do that really easily using the promo bar generator. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. So, uh, before we show you the, the generator, I wanna say, if you just want the code, then you can take the code here, it's minified, and you can pop it into a code editor and you can customize it yourself if you don't wanna use the generator. But the generator is super easy, we've made it really slick, uh, and then now we also have the, the color pickers here. So uh, very, very cool, very easy to customize your colors. So in this hypothetical scenario, we wanna add a COVID-19 notice. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the promo text. Now, 
just for clarity's sake, the promo text is this text right here. And so I'm gonna, it's gonna autofill since I've already typed this out during testing. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it there. So due to COVID-19, we are takeout and delivery only. So our hypothetical Divi Bistro is only doing takeout. Their dining room is closed, which is a uh, very, very common situation right now with everything going on with the global pandemic. Okay, and so the button text, instead of saying learn more, I want it to say order now. Now, again, to be clear, that's what this text reads right here. And then the button link, I'm just gonna leave it at uh, divylife.com for now. Of course, uh, you wanna add that to be the page that you wanna link to from the promo bar, um, but I'm just gonna leave it as default. And then the background color, of course, is this background here. And so um, you can use the color picker and you can make it any color you want. So very easy to do. Uh, <clears throat> and so what you can, you can copy and paste colors so it matches exactly. Uh, for this part of the tutorial, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um, but you can go ahead and do that because I want it to match this. That's pretty close. Hit close. And then the button text color, I like it to be the same as the background so that the button text color almost looks like it's transparent and it's able to show what's behind it um, through the through the lettering so um, of course you can make it any color you want and then the button background color I'm gonna keep white just like it is by default and then the promo text color same thing I'm gonna leave that default which is just this text here and then button text hover color, um, I'm gonna, again, leave that as white because um, it just looks better when it's white when you're gonna have it uh, have a color. So um, for the hover color, I'm actually going to make it this gold right here. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this color from the browser inspector you've never used the browser inspector, I highly recommend it. It makes grabbing things like this super easy, editing custom, uh, custom CSS really easy as well. And so let's go ahead and paste it right here. So you can see that. And so this is the colors that I want. Now all I have to do is add my name. I'm just gonna add a fake email here. And just for full disclaimer, when you use a promo bar and you put your name in your email, you are subscribed to the Divi Life email list. However, you can unsubscribe at any time. So uh, this is just a way for us to get people uh, in our world so that you can see everything that Divi Life is about. And so um, so w when you put your email, it's we'll, we'll go ahead and send you the promo bar code to that email. It usually happens within a minute or less. It kind of depends. Um, with everything going on with COVID-19, uh, the internet is a little bit slower, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, YouTube, for example, has um, by default not have uh, high definition videos. You have to turn that on. And so they're trying to uh, basically uh, kind of, uh, reduce overall bandwidth since everyone is at home using the internet and watching videos. So, um, but you should get it within a minute or so, typically. Um, so last thing before we go ahead and click the get the code button is the secondary menu. So if you just leave it by default, then it's going to work on a default Divi menu. Uh, it's going to work automatically for a Divi 4.0 menu like this. It's gonna work automatically for extra. However, if you're using that upper secondary menu, then go ahead and cl uh, just click the radio button for yes, I'm using the main nav and the secondary menu too. Um, but if you're not using that secondary upper menu, then uh, just hit uh, just the main default menu. And then you're gonna hit get the code. And then um, that is going to send you the email as I mentioned. You'll get an email that looks like this sent to you. You can triple click this, copy it. So to be clear, you want everything that's part of this block copied. So nothing's there by mistake. So we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna go over to Safari. We have it logged in here. So this, just to be clear, is what we're gonna add it to this website here, which is just a uh, 
basic Divi layout with a default header. And so the quickest and easiest way to add this is to go ahead and click on theme options and add it to every page via the integration tab. So from within theme options, you're going to click on integration and then you're going to paste the code right here. So this is the add code to the body section, not to be confused with the head. So don't put it there. It won't work. And we're going to scroll down and click save. So make sure that the body code is enabled. So you want to see it lit up blue like that. If it's gray like this, then it's not going to work. You need it to be blue just like this, which it is by default. And then you hit save. And if you have other code in there already, just make sure you scroll all the way down so, and then paste it underneath whatever you have there uh, initially. Um, you definitely don't want to paste it in the middle of another script uh, that will break a lot of things. Um, so yeah, so then once you click save, then we can go over here and we can refresh it so we can see what it looks like on the front end. So there it is. You can see it animate in. We have the custom uh, hover color there. Very cool. And then to be clear, it's also responsive as well. So it's going to go look really good on mobile too. So that is it. That is how you add it to all your pages quickly and easily. Obviously I'm walking through the steps, so it's taking longer, but uh, you can definitely use the generator copy and paste the code, paste it in the integration tab in two minutes or less. Now I'm gonna show you quickly how to add it to just one page. So if you wanna add it to one page, we'll come back here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Oops. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna refresh this just so you can see that it is in fact fully removed. Refresh it again. And it looks like my local site froze here. Let's give it a second. There we go. Okay, so now you can see that it has been removed. So I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna go over to the home page. So just to be clear, you can see if I go to sample page, nothing's there. Come back to home page. We're not going to have the promo bar there. Um, so I'm gonna go into the home page and we're gonna add the code to the code module. And so because of the way the promo bar, promo bar works with the, the CSS and everything, uh, it doesn't matter where you put it on this page as long as the code is there in a code module. And so I, I like to put it all the way down at the bottom just to get it out of the way of everything. But just add a code module, paste it in there, save the module, update the page. And so this is going to add it just to this page right here. And so when I refresh it, there it is. However, if you go look at my default sample page there, nothing's there. And so that's because it's added just to the home page via that code module. So uh, those are the, the two steps that I'm, I'm walking you through in this tutorial, how to add it to all pages via the integration tab, as well as how to add it to just one page um, via the code module. However, you can uh, actually use the theme builder if you wanted to add it to more pages and have more exceptions, um, then you can do that. So if you're already using the theme builder, whether for a header or a footer, um, then what you can do is basically duplicate that existing header or footer and then uh, select all the pages that you want it to be on and then uh, add the, the code, the promo bar code, and then uh, that will make it so uh, it's only showing up on the pages that you select via the theme builder. So um, not showing you how to do that in this tutorial. However, if there's enough people wanting uh, us to create a tutorial for it, then we definitely can. So you have a little bit more control over all pages or one page, um, or obviously you could add uh, repeat the same step that we just did on additional pages as well. So, um, so yeah, that's the end of this tutorial here. Uh, again, if you want more control, more features, um, templates and all of that, definitely check out Divi bars. Uh, Divi bars is the premium version, um, which is fully supported. We're, we're constantly updating it. Uh, and of course you get all the templates and everything as well. Um, and able to, uh, control the close button, uh, 
set it if you want it on a time delay, how long you want it until it shows, if you want it triggered by a scroll delay or exit intent. So all of that is included in Divi Bars. Um, this tutorial will always remain free. It always has been free and we're gonna update it as needed as well. Um, so this is the first time we've updated it since 2016, but it definitely won't be the last time. So I uh, hope you get a lot of use out of it. You can use the generator as many times as you want. You're not gonna be added to our email list a million times by any means. So um, yeah, use it. If you have any questions, uh, ask us in the comments. All right, take care. Bye-bye.